Check one, two, one, two. What's up, everybody? DJ Divine Justice here, aka DJ Let Your Inner Light Shine. Today, I'm going to be talking about Serato DJ and the new beta version where they have LED feedback. So, right now, I'm on the version that's currently out, 1.71. And my preset, my MIDI preset is this beta test that I'll be using in the beta version. But just so you can see, got Q points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 on both, mapped to both MIDI controllers working fine. What I've noticed is, is that when I go in and try to open that up in the new build, or I should say the beta build, which is 1.7.2, they only let you map to one MIDI controller. So you can see this is the beta version. It's 1.7.2 and this is the latest build uh, 1724859. Now that mapping should still be in the memory and I'll pull up that same track because I know that it has cue points and you'll see that 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4. Lovely. And if I go to eject, then they all go away. The problem is that I needed to make that mapping in 1.7.1. So if I load this track, and then I'm actually trying to do the mapping in this version, I'll go to the first cue point, and I'll map it to this pad. So I map it to that pad, I lose not only the LED feedback from here, but I also lose the functionality. 2, 3, and 4 stay because it's from the previous version of Serato DJ. Q.1 is stuck there. Vice versa, if I go to remap, then it loses on that one. So it's a small fix. Um, obviously, they have the ability to do it with multiple MIDI controllers, and then if I didn't do this, and if I didn't try to remap it, then I would still have the functionality just like 234 and 234. I mean, it's a great addition. Uh, one of the main things that I noticed is that the effects, when you're hitting the effects on in 1 and 2, the LED feedback really helps because on this MIDI controller, I wasn't able to really see what was happening because it had a limited... Um, way that it let you map. So you had to map it to a gate, which meant that there was no toggle information to let you know which version you were on. So that's very helpful. Um, so this has been a public service announcement from DJ Divine Justice. Also, on a PS note, if you are not getting the LED feedback, um, it's because you need to go in and make sure that your MIDI controller is sending out note information as MIDI and it's not sending out, for instance, CC or control change information. Um, because I just did that to the first pad, so now even if I go and map that first pad, you can see it says a CC value, and then I, you won't get LED feedback. But if I go and change this back to a note, and I make sure that it's set to LED information, I'm sorry, LED on for MIDI in, I have it to dual, and then on this one I have red, as the color on and off as the color white. So therefore, when the uh, when there's not a cue point present, that's why it shows up white. So now I just changed it, and you can see now it's not a CC value, it's a note, it's note 24. And I go out of MIDI, and there it is back. Eject, it's gone. Load the track, it's there, but then again, got that problem with the other MIDI controller. So this has been a public service announcement part two with an addendum. <laughs> As usual, practice and enjoy. Hope this helps. DJ Divine Justice signing off. Peace.